uh, in our message this morning, we're going to focus in on how the Holy Spirit initiates these gifts. So all of us are tripart beings. We are spirit, soul, and body. The body is the outside part. We all see each other. The soul is our mind, our will, our emotions, the intellectual, the emotional, the mental part of us. And our spirit is the eternal part of us which connects with God. The Bible says the spirit bears witness. That means he communicates, he speaks to us in our spirit. Now we all understand the natural part. We see, we hear, we feel, we taste, we smell. And that information goes into our soul, we process it, and we make decisions, we act. The same thing, spirit. The Holy Spirit gives you inputs through your five, we call them spirit senses. So I want to explain these five spirit senses to us. So there is the spirit sense of feeling. You can feel in your spirit. For instance, the feel, feeling of peace in your spirit. is like a green signal from the Holy Spirit. You come to the traffic light, see green, keep going. In Acts 20, Paul says, I am bound in my spirit. It's like somebody's tied me up. And then he says, the Holy Spirit is telling me, I got trouble waiting for me. Paul was stirred in his spirit. When he came to Athens, Acts 17, he comes stirred in his spirit. Then he goes out and he preaches. So the Holy Spirit is saying, Paul, get out there, boy. Speak to these people. Sometimes you feel restlessness. Paul writes about it, 2 Corinthians 2, 13. I felt restless until I came to you. In other words, I couldn't just, there was something inside me said, you got to do it. The Holy Spirit is talking to you. Through your spirit sense of feeling. He's trying to move you to do something, to reach out to somebody, to call somebody, pray for somebody. The spirit sense of seeing. The Bible is full of that. People saw visions. So through your spirit sense of seeing, God is releasing pictures, images that rise up in your spirit. Sometimes it could be like a movie. Sometimes it comes as a dream in the night. And I have my journal of dreams over the last, I don't know, so many years. Dreams after dreams. God is speaking. I write them down. Things about the future. Write them down. God is speaking. He's speaking. There's a spirit sense of hearing. What do we hear? We hear words communicated through sound in the natural. But in the spiritual, words are transmitted without sound. So in your spirit, you may receive a word, you may receive a sentence, you may receive full knowledge just coming up in your spirit. You just know. Amen. But we have to hear. That's why in many places you find in the Bible, let him who has ears to hear, hear what the spirit is Say, God speaks to you in the year of your spirit. But that's rare. There is spirit sense of taste and smell. And I know this sounds strange, but you have examples in the Bible. The Bible says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Or Ezekiel and John both had experiences where God said, eat the scroll. So sometimes in your spirit, you get a taste. Sometimes it's a bad taste. God is saying, don't go, just get out. So the taste indicates the message. Same thing, the spirit sense of smell. And there are many scriptures that talk about how our actions are our spiritual incense to God. So five spirit senses, all of us have these spirit faculties. So what must you and I do? We must train our spiritual senses. Train, comes through practice, comes through training. First of all, you open up, be ready, be alert, be sensitive in the spirit. Say, God help me. And the more you listen, the more you can recognize, I know God has spoken. I know God has given me a word for this person. I know that what I'm saying right now is not just a, you know, something through my learning, but this is a word from God. You can draw the distinction. You know the difference. And remember, He can speak to you anytime, anywhere. The gifts of the Spirit, they manifest through the believer, and they also manifest as the Holy Spirit moves according to His sovereign will. So there are times, for example, the gifts of healings, they flow through you. God uses you. He gives you a word, and He tells you a particular condition is being healed. The gifts of healings flow through you. There are times the Holy Spirit works that way, and there are times when the Holy Spirit moves sovereignly. That means people are in the audience, nobody prays for them, but they are just healed. What is that? The gifts of healing released by the Holy Spirit sovereignly as He works. So the Spirit of God works both ways. And we must remain open to both. Amen? Amen.